Um, this is Chris Pyle um, with you know Champion Solutions Group and Message Ops, and I, um, I first of all, I you know wanted to just wish all of you guys and girls, um, you know, I hope everybody's safe and you know doing what you need to do. It's they say may you live in interesting times, and this is for sure some interesting times that we are all in here. Um, but we do appreciate uh, the community uh, that we have, and uh, we appreciate um, all the great work that you guys do. And I, I hope my company is keeping up. I know that our help desk calls have like tripled, and um, everybody's trying to figure out how to work more and more from home and things like that. Um, so today, what we wanted to do real quick is we wanted to uh, just share with you um, we've had a lot of organizations and a lot of the, our, you know, message ops members like yourselves, you know, asking us multiple things about how can we better help you and your organization with remote worker productivity, remote worker um, management measurements, um, and what can we do since more and more companies are working remote. Um, so we, we've had a lot, I mean, a lot of you have called us and said, I need this report, I need this report, where can I find this, um, et cetera. And so, you know, what we decided to do is just have a quick video, a quick, you know, a little Teams meeting here. It's not going to be but just a half hour long. And we wanted to show you some of the new reports, where they're located, and also a new site that we created that if you wanted to take a look. So it won't be that long of a meeting, it should be you know, 20, 30 minutes, but I just, you know, for some of you, you might say, hey man, I know where all this is already, that's great, others might not. So let me just take a quick, quick start here and let me just jump in. And Melissa, if you can tell me when you can see my screen, that would be great. Okay, Chris, so I can see your screen. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we did, and you're all going to get this, you have free access to it, but we created uh, something for the world because we felt like right now that, you know, the people uh, around the world um, are looking for a, a way to better, you know, manage and measure their remote employees. So we created this report. And you can log in with you know your Microsoft 365 credentials, um, and and it's going to take you to this new report that um, we we're going to show you here. Um, so this report um, again, um, it's building right now, and this is all built in Power BI. And the thing that I would just like to tell you uh, about this uh, report is that we're grabbing all of this information from the Graph API. And the Graph API um, updates every 24, 48, 72 hours. It's usually around 48 hours that it's populated. So we are going to put this um, inside uh, the, uh, the tiles uh, within the Inscape platform. So you'll be able to ac access this. We're going to create a new tile over here for productivity, and you'll be able to access it right from there. That might take a day or two. So if you don't want to wait and you want to get to it right away, um, we'll go ahead. And Melissa, would you mind just putting this up in the chat window? Um, you need to be a global admin to access this. Um, and it's only read, the only thing we're going to ask you permission for is read only. That's it. We're just grabbing stuff out of the Graph API and providing this to you. And then from here, if you wanted to grant others access, you can just simply go over here and add users within your Active Directory or in your Azure Active Directory and just you know, start clicking and start adding people who you might want to have department heads look at it. You might want to have your CIO. You might want to have your CEO. I'm not really sure who you want to give access to, but you as the global administrator uh, must do that first. But it's very, very simple and very light. Um, so let me just uh, uh, take you through it real quick. So the first thing is you're probably wondering, this is built in Power BI um, and it's a Power BI app. And so the first thing is you can see at the top, we have Teams activity, we have mail traffic flow um, activity that you can view. And then we have users and usage of both Teams and 
email. So in other words, you can come down and look at, you know, one person and you can see that, you know, they have sent 94 emails. They've read 328. They received 499. They had 11 teams chats, zero teams messages, this many private chats and this many meetings uh, during the last 10 days. And of course, if you go in and if you were to, um, again, look at this, you could just click on this and you can see that everything would change. If you said the last 20 days, um, you, you could go out here and then you'll notice that everything within the Power BI dashboard changes for you. Um, so you can access all of this information um, and you know go crazy. Somebody could, everybody could mute, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then you can go back and you can look at it by display name. So if you wanted to look at one person in your organization, you can look at just that person. And, and within there, this is Leafs Adams, you know, team activity. Um, here's what it is. And this is all just for a leaf. And the same thing you could go over and what's a leaf's mail traffic and what is his uh, user device. Um, you, you know, usage across all the platforms. And if you wanted to add another person's name, uh, let's say Alexander, you could see now that it's a leaf and Alexander uh, across the whole Power uh, BI dashboard uh, that you could uh, access. Um, so uh, from that perspective. Now, the, you also can do it by UPN. If you wanted to grab people's email addresses, you could just do that and that would change. And then we've also have gone out and have allowed you to pick up all the departments. So if you wanted to say, hey, I just want to see how my accounting department and I wanted to see what they are doing uh, or how they are doing, you can see here, you know, this is just for the accounting department now for the last 20 days, uh, how many private chats they've had, calls, meetings. And we notice here that they're not having any Teams chats. That's being in a team and chatting. Um, so that might be a learning opportunity here. Um, but then you can look at the most Teams usage and by the people in the accounting department. You can quickly look at what devices they're using to access Teams uh, in a quick look there. And then again, everywhere that you see in these different cells, you can, you'll see, you can go ahead and do different filtering. Uh, you can go ahead and do a focused mode uh, just on this screen if you would like. Um, you can uh, go ahead and then you can also export this data. So if you really wanted to slice and dice it, you could, you know, drop it into an Excel, uh, export it to Excel so you could go crazy and, you know, really, you know, slice and dice it to your heart's content uh, from that perspective. Um, so um, th there's really not much to this app. It's just a, a very simple uh, app that I know a lot of you have asked us to create something just really easy and simple. Um, so uh, this is available for you to look at and use to your heart's content. Um, and we do appreciate that. And we hope that this helps. Um, the other thing on the sides here, just a couple things. Um, we also have um, a, a, an access to, uh, you know, the, the, key, the team's quick start guide. Um, so if you wanted to, you know, share that, because I know we're getting a lot of questions around teams and, 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 and usage there. Um, and then, of course, we also have our feedback, which we would love to get uh, any feedback here as well. Um, okay, so that's a real simple uh, thing that we created. Again, it's called 365 Productivity Insights um, that is available to you. And Melissa, did you put that up in the chat window? Uh, yes, I did, Chris. And one quick question for you. How, how frequently is the data updated here for our users? Yeah. That's a really good question. So, um, so like I said, we refresh the screen every, I think it's three to six hours, I mean, every three hours, I think. But Microsoft, again, it lags somewhat um, between 24 to 48 to 72 hours. We're just, all we're doing here is we are just grabbing the, all this data from the graph API and sucking it down into this Power uh, Dashboard, this Power BI Dashboard that we're giving to everybody. Um, so we're, we're like, as you can see here, you know, it, you know, we have the different dates. So it's not always up to date. It's only as quick as Microsoft gives it to us. And I, I apologize, but that's 
as fast as Microsoft is. It's usually around 48 hour lag, but it should overall help you with your, you know, your overall trending of how things are going uh, within your organization. Um, and again, we hope that this comes in handy and we look for your feedback on what else would you like to see in here and we'll go ahead and add that. Um, okay, so now I wanna jump back into the Inscape 365 dashboard, which I think many of you are uh, familiar with and use constantly, and we really do appreciate that. I wanna show you a few things here. Um, the first thing is, is we're gonna have within Inscape itself an activity dashboard that's gonna be more granular than what you saw for the free version. That's coming, it's not quite ready yet, but it's coming. But I wanted to make sure that you understand that you do have the Teams activity uh, within here. And again, you can access these, you know, yesterday, I mean, seven days, month, whatever it might be, custom ranges. Um, you can look at the total Teams usage, total Teams active users. And again, from here, you can look at the most usage by, you know, 25 or top 50 people by calls. If you wanted to do it by meetings, if you wanted to do it by private chats, you can have all of this. What's interesting, just to let you all, you we'll let you all know, Jesse Soto is you know is is in our organization. Since we all started working remotely, Jesse Soto is our our help desk guy, and he quickly has catapulted into the number one private chat guy because everybody in the organization is uh, really uh, knocking on him uh, to to get his answers. So again, here isn't just another dashboard within Inkscape that you saw a lot of the same things here that uh, that were in that other free dashboard, but with a little more granularity of inactive and such like that. And then if you wanted to drill down more, you could click on the Office 365 and we have the mail traffic dashboard. Um, and in here, what's really good is you can, you know, we've taken you to good mail in, the good mail out, spam in, spam out, and you can really, you know, get granular in here. And the deeper you, you know, get into this, you can see more, you know, more information. And all of this changes on the side here as well. If you wanted to see that, and if you wanted to look at the, you know, the the ten, you know, top twenty five outbound uh, mail, or if you want to look at the, you know, the ten twenty five most inbound, or if you wanted to look at the least amount of people, you know, you could see who's not sending email through your organization. Mailware in, mailware out, again, and spam in and spam out. So that's there. So once again, this is in Office 365 tab in the mail traffic dashboard summary, uh, what's in here, and this is everything you could need. So I also then just want to jump over to some new reports. So you click on the reports and under report listing, if you go to categories, we added a few things in here that I think you'll find interesting. You go down to Office 365 activity, which by the way, we're gonna have to change everything now because it's now called Microsoft 365 across the board. So we're gonna have to do that. But we have this active Office 365 service activity detail that I think you will find uh, very interesting. You can come up into here and it will pull and you can again, get the dates that, that you want it. And you can, like I said, we have up to nine pages here. So let me go to my page eight here. So here you have all your individual users, but in here we have a little bit more detail than the last. You have your mail sent, your mail read, received, the number of calls uh, in Teams, chat messages, private chat meetings. And then we get into a little more uh, of around how many OneDrive files are they sharing? Uh, how many have they viewed? Um, are they doing anything within SharePoint? Are they editing anything in SharePoint? Are they, you know, are they syncing anything in SharePoint? Met a number of pages visited uh, within SharePoint. Um, so again, we're just trying to give you all a, a, a little more in-depth uh, knowledge of, you know, what's going on with my remote users and can we you know just maybe they need help they're or they're spotting some training opportunities maybe there's some opportunities for the department heads to do some coaching um that they need to be um you know more productive i'm really not sure but again we're bringing this to your attention that this is all 
you know, at your fingertips and it's it's for you, our, our, our Microsoft CSP uh, customers, when we do thank you and we hope it's a, a value add. Um, so uh, I wanted to just also give you a little preview, just a little preview here of uh, what's coming with our new dashboard. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody who keeps recommending how we can make this better. So what I'm about to show you uh, really is coming from the recommendations from the members, and I do appreciate it. So what you're gonna be seeing very soon is a new dashboard that's going to have the whole, the user management that you're used to, mail traffic summary, all this, but we've broken it out to be more succinct. So for example, cost management we know is a big deal. So what you're gonna be seeing very soon is a very easy way to look at, here's my total license cost for Champion Solutions Group a month. And then right away, we bring to your attention that there's $2,500 worth of unassigned licenses, um, uh, exactly, you know, and, and then which licenses are not being assigned and the cost of those. So we're bringing that right to your attention. And we also have this grid here we're bringing in to show you like Microsoft uh, or Skype for Business Online One, you know, we have, you know, it's 75% consumed, but we bought 100%. So, you know, should we deploy it? We also have licensed, these people are licensed, but inactive users in the past 30, 60, 90 days. And of course you can get a detailed log or report uh, in here. And then we also are bringing to your attention blocked users. So you have blocked these people from logging in, but they still have a license. Again, you can drop this out into a detailed log or report, or you can simply remove those licenses uh, right from the dashboard. Many of you have also asked us, and we've been listening, is, hey man, can you help us filter by department, by state and city? So we're, we're getting very close to releasing this, but the opportunity will be, is here's what the total spend is, and then you can you know, filter by state, um, if you're lo located in multiple locations, city, uh, country, uh, if you wanted to go a department and say, hey, I want to know how much am I spending in, you know, um, whatever department it might be, you can just go ahead and say, well, in accounting, I'm spending $1,321, um, you know, and here's the licensures, here's what's assigned, here's the cost to each one of those. So I think this is going to be a very good and you get a detailed log of that. The other thing that you have asked us for, and we're going to be working it into this dashboard, but also on the reports. We, if you go back in under the report section, uh, let me just show you once again under reports, and you go into the categories under Office 365 activity, you'll see there's some new activity things in here that we're going to bring to your attention. Here, um, again, for this date to this date, you're gonna see what's being unused within your organization and what is being used. And you know, we can see here, here's how many licensed users you have of Exchange, OneDrive, SharePoint, Skype, Yammer, Teams, and then the actual number used, the number unused, and then the percentage. I'll tell you what's really one thing that's really interesting for me as the CEO of um, Champion and Message Ops. It's amazing to me and my organization on our usage of Teams now has surpassed the usage of email. And I swear to God, six months ago, it wasn't anything like that. So it's just interesting for, for me just to share that with you. I just think it's, it, it's amazing. The other uh, points are we're gonna bring to your attention is stuff that you have actually licensed. So like, for example, Visio Desktop, you know, you, you've purchased 33 of these licenses, but you've only activated 19 of them. And you know you, you have 14 that are unactivated. You know how can we maybe save you some money and let's get rid of those 42 or let's get them deployed. So we're going to bring that to your attention. Um, and then in here, which I, we find, which you guys, a lot of you have asked us for, and we're, and we're still tweaking it a little bit, but you can access it now and please share what you if there's big big discrepancies. But what we've done here now is you can actually look at um, you know, the different people within your organization and you, know, you can look and say, okay, great, here's the unused services, here's the used services, here's what they're licensed for, and then the license cost. 
um, once again to help you. Uh, and, and, you know, we're trying to help you guys, again, control your spend, trying to bring it more to your attention. And this will be all you know, much better. This is a report that, again, you can schedule this report um, and add it to one of your existing report subscriptions or create a new one that you can go ahead and manipulate. And you can also just check and say, I only want to look at, you know, exchange or I want to look at everybody that's just using SharePoint or OneDrive and you can narrow that down. Um, but this is a great report. Um, that I know many of you have asked for, like, can you really tell me who's using what within my organization and what are they licensed for and how much is it costing me? The license cost that you see here is list price. Um, and we are, and for those, um, you know, um, um, you know, that might have a discount, we're going to be uh, showing you a way very soon on how you can adjust the pricing yourselves if you need to. Um, but again, this is going to be in the new dashboard right now it's just a report but we're going to figure out how to bring it under the cost management dashboard so you can you know, sort it and look at it from there instead of just a report and then the last thing that we're doing is we're bringing together security and just making it easier uh, for you as the you know the IT professionals to quickly look and see within your organization you know who's got strong passwords who's got passwords set never to expire the ability to get detailed logs of that right off the front who's forwarding their email internally from who to who and you know externally who is forwarding their email externally who's got multi-factor authentication turned on who has it turned off uh, and again you know detailed logs or reports. Um, and we're going to be adding more security in there, such as who's sharing OneDrive files outside of the of uh, the location. And, you know, it, you just want to make sure we got a few other tidbits coming. But Melissa wanted me to give you just a brief preview of this new dashboard that you all will be seeing. Um, so once again, just to you know, go here, if you want to go into, you know, 365 product, you know, message ops uh, dot com. Click on Office 365 Productivity Insights. Uh, you will come here and you can just log into this free application right from there. Um, and you will be brought to this free app here um, from the Power BI dashboard standpoint. Um, and again, it's a much lighter version, of course, than what's in Inkscape. But if you want to use this because it's simpler and that's all your executives might need, um, there you go. Um, so that's really uh all i had uh, except i do want to just say a few things a lot of you have taken advantage of this office 365 training but many many of you have not and and again guys we really appreciate it and this content is not mine okay we have 2500 snackable videos with all different types of courses um you know everything you could imagine you know seriously i mean from teams everywhere and it's 99 cents per user and you're you might be saying well chris i thought we get a lot of for free well you do get many things for free as our csp but this content i have to pay for um because we don't create the content these are a bunch of ms um, mvps within microsoft and uh, i would tell you that it's it's the, probably the cheapest training out there and those of you who have used it have really said it's great great stuff it's got a fantastic uh let me matter of fact let me just go over to it if you you, you know if you're in your inscape dashboard here which you guys are familiar with you know it's going to be right here for you where you can jump right in and access all of this um because right now more than ever with people working remotely the ability to assign them trainings, maybe on Teams or OneDrive, uh, and to be able to have all these snackable videos is a, a, a real nice, it's very, very nice um, uh, product. I don't need to go through them all, but trust me, they're quality stuff. You can go ahead and create um, you know, learning paths. So if you have different people for you know, your maybe accounting wants to learn more about Excel online, or you know everybody needs to learn about this. You can create all different types of learning paths. Um, you can give people exams and you can look at all the exam statistics you know, through here. Um, you, can, you, know, you can put out surveys and create your own surveys. Hey, is this good using, you know, good, good learnings? 
Um, you know, and, and, and just a lot of things here. And you can, you know, look at the last people logged in, how many views. So it's not just a, you know, the last created dates and uh, last time you logged in. It's not just a, just a bunch of content. It's also a, you know, an, a, a learning systems management, an LSM system. But for 99 cents, and oh, by the way, guys and uh, girls, if you use it for a month and turn it off, that's it. That you're not. We're not asking you to sign up for you know any long period of time. But during this time of transition, um, 99 cents is, is is not a lot of money. I don't believe for quality training trying to help people. So if you're interested in this, just you know click there, give us a call. We'll get you set up immediately on it. And then the other thing that's available to you guys is the adoption portal. Uh, a lot of you use this and we get so many great things. So, but again, we're trying to help your end users, but the adoption portal is just full of things uh, around, you know, what is Microsoft 365? You, we have every single quick start guide that you can imagine from OneNote uh, to Word to Teams. Um, and, you know, you can even put your own up there if you wanted to add your own quick start guides. You know, those are all up there. Um, we have what we call support butler, where any of your end users can go right into this and, you know, ask it like, you know, how do I set an out of office reply? How do I do that? Um, and you can ask it any question um, about Microsoft 365 and it will come back with, uh, you know, the answers. And this is great for your help desk or maybe if you want to even give it to your, you know, your users uh, to do, it's up to you. But please take advantage of this is free. Uh, we have the help centers that you can access for every single uh, piece of Microsoft that you could imagine that comes with 365. Um, so again, this is all yours free. Um, and again, just as a, 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 you know, you can choose to see what you want displayed in your portal. Um, and we do send out tips and tricks. You know, Melissa and her team do a great job of sending out tips and tricks on a, either a monthly or bi-weekly basis uh, on whatever it is that you want to tips and tricks on. And we send it up to six people in your organization, and then you can send it out to your whole company if you would like. But please take advantage of this. And remember that you can also um, send this out to all of your end users and they can deploy it in the Outlook ribbon um, in, or they can deploy it in the question mark on Outlook on the web or what they used to call OA. But yeah, you, it would drop right in here, um, here. So again, this is free to you as included as part of our value add. Um, so I just wanted to bring this to your attention. And then the last thing um, I do wanna say, we are very, very busy right now and we really appreciate uh, the ongoing support. We are super busy deploying Windows virtual desktops in Azure. Um, so we can have a turnkey up and running. I don't care how big your organization is or how small, we can get a full you know, virtual desktop running in Azure up and running uh, within 10 days um, you know, with everything, print, everything. And we are very busy with that right now, but we're here to help you if you're looking to do something like that. We're also ex experts in Citrix. If you need some help with Citrix uh, and VMView, we know those products cold as well. So again, we're, we're just here to help you there. And the last thing that I do wanna say is too, and Melissa will send out the information. We also do a tremendous amount of Teams immersion experiences. Um, where we really get into training your team on what the team's suite is about and how we can um, really take advantage of that. So um, I know that many of you have taken us up on that, but I just want to uh, bring that to your attention. Um, the other thing that I would just want to just talk about real quick is the first line worker suite, uh, which is a very, very inexpensive suite for those people who do not have a desk. And we have been deploying a lot of these lately. You can get this for as cheap as a dollar a seat. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of great things in here that we can accomplish, um, 
you know, again, you, you can deliver, it's all delivered over the phone for the first line worker or, you know, a mobile device, but everything from chat announcements, directory surveys, suggestion boxes, down to your frontline workers, your first line workers, you got employee management, checklists, forms, reports, um, you know, we can, you know, people can log in, log out, they can have their own scheduling and job shifts all done there in the first line worker. Um, so, and of course you get full training involved. So anything that you guys need in regards to first line workers, uh, we are seeing a tremendous amount of the community figuring out how to deploy a lesser skew as far as price is concerned, but functionality to make sure that you are, you know, really communicating and collaborating uh, with those who do not have a desk necessarily in your organizations. So, Melissa, I, did I cover everything, Melissa? Well, I think you could definitely cover everything, Chris. Um, one thing for the adoption platform that I just wanted to highlight is the support butler. Um, that will help our users here uh, cut down on the amount of internal help desk tickets. I just wanted to make yeah. sure that they were aware of that um, within the adoption uh, platform. Also wanted to make sure that they're aware that they can reach out to us to see if there is any available funding available for them from Microsoft, whether Whoa. it's for Teams or something else as well. Definitely yeah, reach I, out that's to us. really, really good point, Melissa. Just to let you know right now, I can't guarantee anything, but Microsoft has really has come up with some very unique uh, and you know great some great funding opportunities to help customers you know, adopt the new technology and or roll out like stuff like WVD. Um, again, if you reach out to Melissa, we can't promise you anything, but we have managed to bring in, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, from many of our customers and, and to help roll that out. So uh, any questions while uh, we're here together? Uh, if you have any well, questions. We did have a question come in from one of our uh, accounts here. Um, she was wanting to know specifically if uh, there's a way for them to get an email alert when they are out of licenses, like for Office 365 E3. Wow, that is a great suggestion. Um, no, we know it's on the dashboard, but right now the only way you'll find out is if you log in when you're when you're in uh, when you're in here when you go into Microsoft licenses. Um, yeah, we, no, that's a great suggestion because this is where you're going to come in and you're going to find out, you know, you, you know, if you have any available. Um, like right here, it says you got one license available, assign it. But that's a great suggestion, Melissa. Can you please write that down and we'll make that something that. Um, would be you can um you know you, you don't have to we, we, what do they call that opt in you can we'll make it that you can opt in if you want those um if you want that notification great suggestion thank you so much thank you rubina and we have this uh taken down for our dev team yes thank you any other questions um and i hope you guys sign up for the free app tell your friends about it we, we're trying to help um you know we're trying to help out in this uh crazy world here um but please you know go ahead and sign up for the free app if you want give it to your management team but again we're going to have more coming within our in, within inscape 365 of course okay well i said we're going to try to keep it to a half hour any other questions or comments are we heading in the right direction for everybody i hope can you just walk in to, to click in and, and see how we get into that free app again because yeah, sure. I, I no tried problem. following along there but it was a little too quick okay i apologize i'm, I'm very sorry so let me just go back so what you're going to do is you can you can uh let me just get over um so you can you know there's a you can go to messageops.com and under products need to share. Chris, need to share. Can't see it. oh i apologize thank you whoever whoever that man was i appreciate it thank you <laughs> So there's a couple ways that you can do that, right? So you, you would just go into messageops.com and you would go under products and we have a product right at the top called 365 Productivity Insights. And you would just click right here, sign in with Microsoft 365. And for, when you're first signing in for the very first time, you're, it's going to ask you, you know, it's an application. Microsoft's going to say, look, this app needs read access. And if when you say yes, then boom, you're in and we start populating uh, the Power BI dashboard for you. 
Um, it's worth noting, please give it a little bit of time to fully propagate your data. So after you immediately, you know, register, if you don't see your data right there, just give it some time to fully propagate. And if there's any issues, reach out to myself or the team here and we'll be glad to assist you. I'm going to put this in the chat here um, just so everybody can have it and I'll put it up here in the chat. Okay. Um, so please get it there, but yeah, please. And um, um, no, we do not. Thank you, uh, Nick. No, we. Do, he asked if we use our use the data. No, we do not. Uh, absolutely not. Um, and and again, we don't see see it all uh, anyway. We don't see it, so it's completely yours. Just read access only. Um, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. We don't have. We're just reading it, publishing it, but we don't. We can't see any emails. We don't see anything like that. It's yeah, we have been through very, very heavy security uh, reviews because many of you are part of HIPAA, you're part of Sarbanes-Oxley, you're part of GDPR. So we have gone through numerous uh, security reviews, um, but no, we don't touch anything. We're just taking it and publishing it out so you can see it. Okay. I have a question. Yes, please. Um, I'm a global admin, and when I access uh, the 365 Productivity Insights, it says that I do not have access to this report to ask my admin to get access, and I'm a global huh. admin. Huh. Yeah, I have the same issue. Actually, mine says, sorry, there was a problem with the report. I think I've tried that about 15 times since we started. Okay. I had the same issue. All right. Well, I appreciate this. Like I said, we're pu just pushing it out here. So let me... Uh, can you guys would you guys mind just sending up your names of people who are having challenges and let's let me get back and bring and I'll, I'll get my admin on it right away our developers because we we have a lot of people up on it so i'm not sure what the diff, what the problem is but thank you and I, I regret the challenge if you could just put your names in the chat and then melissa can you let's just make sure we follow up asap with all of it, everybody yep already on it I apologize. We'll we'll send you an email uh, as soon as we get back with our developer and just see if there's a challenge. Okay. Well, listen. Thank you, everybody. It's been 55 minutes. I know we're going to try to keep it to a half hour, but I will get this out. And I regret that we already had a challenge with it, but uh, please forgive us. We tried to get this out as soon as possible because there were so many people asking us for it. So we we busted it out uh, right away. So let me uh, let me find out what's going on and we'll we'll take care of that. But again, thank you for your business and we we hope that we're uh, helping you guys with what you need. And if there is anything else you guys need, please just ask us and we'll put it on our development board. Thank you so much. Thank you.